Hello, hello, hello. This is Elizabeth Griffin, your indie author from South Philadelphia, and welcome back to my channel. If you haven't subscribed, please take a moment to do so, and definitely, definitely leave a thumbs up if you appreciate this video, and also share it with others. So I'm excited to talk to you today about a workshop that I attended during the weekend. It was a part of the RWA 2020 uh, virtual uh, conference, and the host of this particular workshop, her name was Alana Alverson, and she has a lot of credentials and she had a lot of information to give. Obviously, I can't cover everything in this brief video, but I'll try to give you highlights and definitely check out her website, check out her series, check out, if you can, her workshop on rwa.org. So, to begin, she has a master's degree in education. She has a bachelor's degree in English. Uh, she has been writing for quite a while. She has 30 books under her belt. But what she is known for and where she's making quite a bit of her money is through her serials. And she has these serials posted on an app called Radish. And if, for those of you who haven't heard of Radish, it is modeled after a Chinese version uh, of the app, which is doing really well and has a lot of people going to that particular app and uh, downloading chapter after chapter of a book. And the premise of the, the Radish workshop, I mean the Radish uh, app, which is based on the, the one in China, is that for a fee you will download a chapter of a book and each chapter ends with a cliff uh, cliffhanger, a reason to go to the next chapter, a reason to buy the next chapter. And she gave all the merits and all the reasons why uh, this is a is something that indie authors and mainstream authors should uh, should entertain the idea. Uh, she is a writer that writes novels. But in between her novels, she said she wanted to write something that wasn't quite as stressful. So she wanted to write short pieces of work in between her long novels. And so she decided to do serials. And the, the way she came up with this idea was that she always wanted to write television uh, episodes of a show. And so she decided to model her serials after television, uh, a television series. And so at the end of each chapter, as I said, it's a cliffhanger, a reason to go to the next chapter. And she said when she did it, it was just an idea. It was just a way to, to do something to keep her interested while she had downtime between writing books. She never thought that it would generate a lot of amount of money, and she never thought that it would generate a lot of attention and a large fan base. So what she said is she wrote these uh, these serials and she said she wasn't consistent in writing them so she would write one and then it'd be a little time before she puts the next one out and some of her fans would get frustrated because they wanted to read them all at once and she would just put them out periodically whenever she had a chance so her suggestion was that if you do write a serial to plan it out uh, sh and to also uh, upload it all at once. So to plan it out, to write it, and to upload it all at once so that there is no lull between uh, chapters and there's no lull between uh, uh, one episode and another episode and you satisfy your, uh, your reader. And you also will keep the momentum of your sales going up and the algorithms of your sales going up. She also mentioned that you should give it time to take off and that you should put it on one particular platform exclusively for the moment and then let it do its, its thing. And for her, she said she put hers on Kindle Unlimited and she left it there. And I believe Kindle Unlimited, you leave it um, there for nine months. I'm, no, I'm sorry, for three months, 90 days, three months. And in that time, uh, it's exclusive with Amazon and no one else can have that particular uh, book on their platform. And Amazon in turn will promote it and you will get a lot of sales, hopefully. So she left it on Amazon and she said it did really well. She made between 15 thousand to twenty five thousand dollars off of the series which is seven books in total and so she said radish approached her and wanted her to pull her her books from amazon and to put it on their app uh page i'm sorry chapter by chapter and sell it in that way and she said she was really nervous about it and she really uh didn't want to do it but she wanted to take a chance because she said she hadn't taken a chance on self-publishing um, and she regretted that so she didn't want to miss this opportunity and so she stresses sometimes taking uh, taking chances so she took a chance she pulled her uh, her seven book series down which is called seven deadly seals 
and she put it up on the app Radish. And she said over the course of time, she has made $100,000 off of that series. Uh, if you go on Amazon or any of the other websites now, you will see that her covers are amazing. They grab you and it looks like this series would take off. So um, definitely check it out. Uh, definitely consider a serial writing. I definitely am thinking about it for myself because um, the the hypergamy series the h chronicles which i am featuring on amazon and which will be coming out uh, very shortly that is going to be similar to a serial meaning uh it'll be book after book after book about two particular characters or romance interests interests but it's all pertaining to either hypergamy or hypogamy which is marrying uh, at your level or up or marrying below your level so and I want to end each of those stories on a kind of cliff uh, cliffhanger. So I like her advice. I like her energy. And uh, she was saying that you can make a lot of money in doing this. And this is not something new. Writing serials has been around for a while. If you check out some of my older videos, I talked about Charles Dickens and how he wrote serials for uh, the newspaper because a lot of people didn't have enough money to buy books. So they could afford to buy a newspaper and they could uh, read installments of a story every week. So this is similar to that premise. Uh, if you're not familiar with serials, uh, go on on the different ebook uh, retailer websites and look at them and even purchase some and read them and see how they work and uh, serials are different from novels uh, serials are different from let's say if you have a book and you're like I'm gonna turn it into a serial I'm gonna chop it up into chapters and I'm gonna publish chapter after chapter after chapter and that's the same as a serial it is not because with the serial each chapter has to end on a cliff a cliffhanger each chapter has to keep you wanting to know what's going to happen next whereas in books it doesn't uh, work that way unless you take a book that you've written and then you restructure it so that each chapter will leave you with a cliffhanger and will leave the reader wanting to know more so she gave a lot of information as I said check out her series uh, entertain this idea because I think it is a way to make money and then I think as African-American writers and I know my audience is broader than that but as African-American writers and as ethnic writers and and diverse writers look into this uh, you're not mainstream and so you could find a niche in writing serial uh, fiction for a particular audience or for a particular uh, age group or a particular uh, group of people. So as I said, I'm definitely interested in this. Uh, I am definitely excited about this. Uh, she gave so, so much more. So I just encourage you to please check out her um, her workshop if you can. Uh, like I said, this is a condensed version and she gives you so much more. But as always, thank you for joining me on my channel and on my journey to writing. Uh, she also mentioned, I have to tell you this before I leave, that you can take that one uh, that one serial and you can have it create gener uh, various different uh, incomes for you. So you could have it as an audio serial, which she said does really well. You can have it as an ebook serial, which is good. You could also have it as a paperback serial. You could also have it in a script form uh, or film. She mentioned that she has several film offers. So you can take that one, uh, that one product and you can market it in so many different other ways. So that is just a little, uh, another tidbit that she shared with us. And um, I hope it's helpful and encouraging. And as always, follow me on Facebook, Instagram, and Twitter. Love, peace, joy, and happiness until the next time. Bye.